Breaking news as we come on the air, a massive fire threatens a Largo business. Tonight, crews from three departments fighting to control the flames. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Right now, crews are keeping a close watch on a Largo recycling plant that was burning out of control tonight. ABC Action News reporter Edward Lawrence is following this breaking story live tonight in Largo. Edward? Actually, just now, crews are able to get inside that building. They're moving the rubble to see where the hot spots are. Just take a look inside. There's a lot of activity going on, spraying down the pile of this to make sure that the fire is actually out. It was contained about 8 o'clock this evening. Now, the good news is that there was no one inside when the plant, uh, when the fire started. There were no injuries associated with this, but the pictures are spectacular. Flames engulfed the entire inside of Angelos Recycled Materials. The warehouse holds brush from the city of Largo and Clearwater. It also holds construction materials like wood beams. All of it added the perfect fuel to make a small fire huge. Basically, I could smell the smoke. Uh, I was coming down Olmerton, it was at dusk. And uh, you could see flames showing in the structure back there. John Dawson says he called 911. This quickly rose to a three alarm fire because one thing needed to put it out was missing. That part will be under investigation to find out why one of the hydrants didn't work. Largo Fire District Chief Keith Daliendo says the private fire hydrant on the property was dry. The next closest water supply, 3,000 feet away. It took three fire trucks and all of their hoses to get water to the fire. Initially, uh, it, it did slow us down a little bit until we got a water supply. By then, the fire took hold in the 20 foot deep pile of recycling that fueled the flames. And firefighters right now are still pumping 3,000 gallons of water per minute on that fire. They want to make sure that any hot spot is out. That's a lot of fuel for flames there. They, w they will be here all night to make sure that no fire reemerges. Reporting live in Largo, Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News.